First of all, on behalf of all of us, let's give Creative Horizons a wonderful applause for launching this contest. There are many, uh, there are many educational institutions around, and with due respect to all of them, I think um, the one that is hosting this uh, function deserves a special mention because very few of the educational institutions around us actually encourage creative writing the way Creative Horizons has done it. And I think the idea of the Paper Planes Creative Writing Contest with its tagline, uh, let your words take flight, beautiful. I mean, I think what we have heard tonight bear testimony to the wonderful creative talent that we have in our mix. And on behalf of Stella and Peter and the other judges, because there are other judges too who shortlisted the thing from within, um, and also Amanda, who's not with us today. The last four years have been tremendous pleasure to all of us judging the wonderful content. And I think it's beautiful that we have now got more and more entries coming in from Malaysia. And I think that's very, very good. Um, I also know, and I think uh, I should maybe mention this, uh, may not be the best thing to mention, but I should say that we see that some schools tend to be winning more than what we may call their usual share of entries, right? In terms of content, so we need to broaden the base a lot. Um, my fellow judges and I uh, are very, very happy always to help where we can. And if you were to be the sort of silent but invisible witness to uh, our judging process, you realize that these are wonderful moments of a lot of discussion. And we normally judge blind, so we do not know who we are actually judging, as it were. Um, and this is very, very good because when the names are finally revealed to us after the judging is all over, it's a wonderful surprise to see some familiar names again, to realize that some of them are coming back for seconds and thirds, and that's very, very good. In terms of the actual writing craft, um, wonderful. And I was just joking with uh, Peter just now that isn't it wonderful that children, when they are children and they are being children, are so beautifully creative and so imaginative. And I think partly the point is they fantasize, and for them the fantasy is so real that their writing becomes very, very convincing. I think as we go older, we become censorious, you know, we begin to censor a lot of our sentiments, a lot of feelings, and so a lot of the creativity is actually curved. And I think the advice here is let your imagination just take flight. Don't be afraid. Just write what you feel and write what you can in terms of your best. Give up your best. That's very, very important. One final comment, I would say that people who read a lot usually tend to be very fertile when it comes to also writing. So read as much as you can. And with that, I would say congratulations to all our winners and thank you very much. It's been a great pleasure for us to chat. Thank you. Uh, and uh, before I give out the most important prize, uh, just uh, just so you guys know what's going to happen next before I start running out, you can see that the two piles of books over there, those go out to all the winners. The reason we didn't give it out when they came is because everything's revealed in there and we wanted to keep it a mystery for as long as possible. But when everything's said and done, please come to the front and we'll give you one of those books and that's yours to keep. And it's amazing to be published, guys, and if this is your first, or second, or third, or fourth time for some of you published, cherish it, it's great. I'm still waiting for my turn. <laughs> I haven't got there yet. But, you know, it's great to be published, well done. So, uh, grab a copy of the book. If you want to buy more, because, you know, Christmas is like only three months away, right? <laughs> What's the best thing in the world to give a Christmas present where you've got your story in it? We're selling them at the back. Uh, right there, so you think ahead, there you go, there's my van of white. <laughs> uh, so the books are there, and you can buy them, and you know what I think, it's great, 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 we've got our judges, we've got our winners, get autographs, man. You know, this is, this is the time, you're not going to get any other chances to get the people who wrote the stories and judged the stories to sign these books for you. So, right back there, yeah? Uh, we'll, we'll send copies to the schools, so, uh, yeah, the, their peers are going to read the stories as well, so it's great, man, well done, guys. But before we do that, there's a tradition that started very extensively the first year, uh, but we've maintained ever since because we think it's a great idea. Uh, the first year there was one story that stood out amongst all the rest, even uh, superseding all the categories. And after that first year we decided we wanted to do something, uh, award a prize that we call the overall champion of all five categories. Uh, maybe we've, been doing, we've been doing that for four years, but this year uh, we had a very interesting debate because our three lovely judges 
could not decide between two. And um, he said that for a moment, he said, you know what, let's not make this decision. If they're at the point where you can't decide between two, we're going to give it to two people. So this year we have two overall champions and, and I just have to tell you a little bit, some, a little something about these two. The first one I have known for a very long time. I have known him as a shy young boy and he's become a confident young man. Uh, I, he was in my class in primary five and he would sit in the corner and he would just observe and he would smile. But now he sits and he takes part in the discussions and he has things to say. From boy who would not read at all, he is now an honest to goodness, competing with me level bibliophile. You cannot touch his books, bend the spine and he'll have a heart attack. <laughs> this is the reader this boy has become and I, I could not be more proud of him, so I have no idea how his parents feel. But our first overall champion, and I'm so proud to call him up again, um, Ajay Pillay. <laughs> The nicest young boy you will ever know is such a gentleman. He's <laughs> such a gentleman. He's always there to help us. In fact, he's rather strong that he couldn't help us this year, but we couldn't get him to help because, you know, he's one of the prize winners, but he's quite bummed by that he wanted to help. So that's what a wonderful young chap this, this boy is. Um, the other young girl also, I, I, can, I can say, I can spend the whole night telling you wonderful things about her. Somebody else I've known for a very long time. And since she was young, she's always been chatty, she's always been friendly, she's always had something to share. She's had the biggest smile you'll ever see, and she has blossomed into such a clever, um, intelligent, and full of things to share. Sometimes, you know, she has so much to share, we struggle to get her to keep quiet, but you know what? It's, it's, it's not a problem. The more she has to say, the happier I am. Uh, our second overall champion, on, on her last chance to do that, oh, she has one more chance next year, right? Take three. Janelle Tan. as possible because once I put this mic down it is going to become slightly disorderly so let's, let's get let me week. try to get be as civilized as I can. Uh, we're going to get everybody who won something to come to the front and we'll give them a copy of the book. There is more than enough, alright? We don't need... Like